Okay, welcome back. Um, so, my name is Sadek Shahadi, and I'm going to walk you through a very simple way to create an article and add um, sections, uh, categories, and also um, include, um, you know, references as well as um, um, adding, um, linking articles inside an article in your sandbox. So stay tuned. Uh, okay, so this is my sandbox. Let me play this article. Assuming you have just created on your account and you want to create an article from scratch, and the advice is that you log into your Wikipedia account and then you hover down to your sandbox. So you click on sandbox, and then when you click on sandbox, you can click on edit source. Then you uh, you go to where you have your article written. You go to the official article. Let's say we are going to create this article. So I'll copy this article that I've, uh, let's say I've created, and then I come to my sandbox. As I said, you have to be in your sandbox. Then I copy this and paste it. So the first thing I would like to show you is whenever you are starting an article like this, you should be able to bolden this uh, text like the name of the person. So to do that, let me switch to visual mode. Um, so just a quick one. Now, to, to be able to bolden this text, you just highlight it like this. And then you click on the drop down, then you select bold. It will make it bold, which is good. So Chinese, uh, the name in Chinese, born July 7, 19, known as grandmother of nation. So this one, we would like to put it in italic. To add italics, we have to click here. And then after highlighting it, just hit on this. Then it has been highlighted. It's a Taiwanese actress. She was born into a rich family. She was born into a rich family. However, not everything went well in her life. Her two relationships were not as agreeable as she thought. So, this particular section, even though looks okay, but I think we can rewrite it in a way. But as I said, uh, so you could um, include it like maybe she was born into a rich family and later had issues in her marriage. Something like that will make uh, a little bit sense. So she's a Taiwanese. A Taiwanese actress who um, Taiwanese actress born into a rich family family but later had issues. Later her issues in uh, marriage, something like this. So this line alone, I should be able to provide a reference to that. So to be able to find a reference, I need to first search the information of the person on the internet. My best. Okay, so this is what I can find about her. Then I to add a reference to that. 
I will just copy the URL. There are different ways to add a, uh, add a reference to an article. So I will copy the reference and the URL like this. Then I come back to my article. Then I make sure I have my cursor blinking at the last full stop where I want to put my reference. So I click on site. Then I will just paste the link and then click generate. Okay, so my reference has been generated. So this is basically how you start a first line of article and then adding a bold, uh, bolding a text and also adding a reference to that particular section. So I'll click on insect and then I'll hit publish. I can choose to publish everything I do or I, I can write everything and then just publish uh, all of that at once. So I should describe what I've done. So I started the start article, I started an article, and then this is a minor edit. It's always good to check that and then watch the page if you want to see what changes are added to the article. So, uh, but as you can see, this is where the reference is, which is not supposed to be the way I, I wanted it to be, so I'll come and fix that. But before that, now we know how to add a reference. We've seen how we add reference to PDF articles. And then um, we've been able to build in a text and then uh, provide italics for uh, apply italics to a particular text. And then the next thing is to create, um, okay, we want to create a list bullet list so let's see we want to make a bullet list for these sections how do i do that i'll just highlight the whole of the text i'll highlight the whole of the text and um, um, once i highlight it like this I will click on this drop down and then I see bullet or number list depending on what I want to. So I'll use bullet for now. So this is how we add bullet to text. Now we need to add a section. A section maybe early life. Early life. How do I make it a section? Early life. And in life. So assuming this is what I want to add as my next section, I have to um, highlight it like this. To add a section, I need to click on this drop down paragraph and I click on heading. Once I do that, you see that um, the section is gen uh, generated. Then I need to put. Um, I need to put my second section, early life. So I will have to copy the whole of this. I will have to copy the whole of this. And then I will paste it. So it's already written, I'll just paste it here. Um, now, so this is the early life section. Maybe there's another subsection. Maybe early life and career. So the section under early life can be like, uh, let's say career, acting career, acting career, which is supposed to be not the same section, but a subsection. So I need to highlight it again, then I click on heading one. This is a subsection under early life. So now we know how to add sections and subsections. We know how to italize um, a text. We know how to we know how to bold in a text, and now we know how to also um, add references like we did here. The next thing I would like to show you is to um, you can insert a table, but I don't want to talk about that now. Now let's go and fix our reference. Whenever you finish adding a reference and you see something like this, 
we can simply um, fix it by going here. You can add another section for references or heading. Add a heading for references. 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 Then I hit publish. Add a section. This is a minor edit, and I click on publish. So this is how we add uh, references to categories. Now, let's say we want to um, add a list of references as the article continue to grow. What you need is to just add something like this. You can edit only that section, and then you put you can switch with that. Uh, with this, you need to switch to source editing. You switch to source editing, and then you scroll down. Source editing is different from the visual editing. So source source editing is where you can add this code or template. There's a template called ref list, so I can just put my template ref list. And then I close my templates. Then I hit publish again. I can show preview to see how it will look like. Yes. So do this. What this does is that it will list all the references for you. And then I publish again. Boom. Then we are done. So this is how we start articles from. Scratch inside our sandbox. Thank you so much for your timing. And as I indicated in my previous session, this is a top page. So if you want to raise uh, topics about an article, just go to the top page of that particular article and make like a comment or add suggestions or ask questions, request edits, uh, like suggest editing of the article and all of that. So all the discussions about that article can be done inside the talk page. Okay, thank you so much. Um, now um, we are able to add a new article from the you know, sandbox, what we do in the sandbox is that the sandbox is like a playground where you can create articles uh, comfortable without having it deleted or without running into problems. So if you do that, you'll be able to make all the necessary mistakes and then from there you can move it to the main um, article where people can see and review it. Now we know how to do that. In the sandbox, we know how to add um, Golden a text, we know how to italize text, we know how to add a reference, we know how to add heading and subheadings, we know how to add uh, references, we know how to add reference list. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next class. Bye.